Hey guys, it's Tracy from the Decorating Studio here at Wilton. Today I'm going to share with you how to make our delicious butter spritz cookies. While spritz cookies are popular during the holidays, you can also make them for any occasion all year long. For this recipe, we'll be using our preferred press, Cookie Press, which also comes with different and fun shaped discs. What I love about these cookies is they are fun to customize and are great for beginning bakers. Also, if you have kids at home, they could help make these cookies with you. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Give us a like and comment down below if you have any questions. We're going to start by making sure our oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When preheating your oven, allow at least 20 minutes for your oven to reach the temperature. Also, you can use an oven thermometer to ensure accurate temperature. In a medium bowl, combine three and a half cups all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. In a large bowl, beat one and a half cups of butter and one cup granulated sugar with an electric or stand mixer until it becomes light and fluffy in texture. Add in one egg, two tablespoons milk, half teaspoon almond extract, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. Mix well. Gradually add the flour mixture to the butter mixture and beat all these ingredients together until they are well combined. You can also have fun playing with color and flavor in this step. Switch out the vanilla and the almond extracts for the same measurement of a different extract or add our icing color to customize for a specific season or special occasion. Be careful not to add too much coloring because that can change the consistency of the cookie dough. We recommend using our gel icing colors. Like other cookie recipes, this cookie dough does not need to be refrigerated before use and should be used at room temperature. This allows the spritz dough to be a pliable consistency to easily move through the detailed disc to make those beautiful shapes. But you can refrigerate the dough if you're not using it right away. Just make sure you bring it back to room temperature before using. It's best to use the dough the day it was made, but if needed, you can make the spritz dough ahead of time. Tightly wrap in plastic, then in a resealable bag, place in the freezer for up to two months. Make sure to bring the dough back to room temperature before using. Using our preferred press cookie press, fill the barrel according to the package instructions and attach your desired disc. When you're ready to begin making your cookie shapes, be sure to press the dough straight onto an ungreased cookie sheet without parchment paper. It's important that your cookie sheet is ungreased because this allows the cookies to stick and keeps the spritz cookies from spreading. Greasing your cookie sheet or using parchment paper can allow your cookies to spread. If you're using a dark coated pan, be sure to watch the baking time or adjust the temperature a bit. Keep in mind that dark coatings will brown cookies faster. If your cookie dough does begin to spread as you're pressing them or your kitchen is warm, try chilling the pans in the refrigerator for a few minutes before piping the cookies on the pan. If any of your cookies come out misshapen, don't worry about it. You can put the dough back in the bowl and reuse it. If you wanted to add any sprinkles or sugars to your cookies, you'll want to do so before putting in the oven so they can stick and bake onto the cookie. Place your cookies into your preheated oven and bake for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll know they're finished baking when the edges are light golden brown, but the rest of the cookie is still pale. Place the cookie sheet on a cooling grid and let cool for about two minutes. From here, you can remove the spritz cookies from the cookie sheet and finish cooling completely. Once they are cooled, you can place them in an airtight container and freeze the spritz cookies undecorated for up to three to four months. You can serve these plain or decorate your spritz cookies with icing, sprinkles, candy melts, and more. This recipe makes seven to eight dozen, so they are perfect for sharing or cookie exchanges. These buttery spritz cookies are great for any occasion or just because. I hope this video was helpful and that you love this easy spritz cookie recipe. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your baking friends, and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also, leave a comment below on what other videos you would like to see. I'm Tracy from Wilton. Thanks for watching.